everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another mlb 19 the show diamond dynasty video let's recap today guys if you missed it earlier this morning video number one of the day we put out a basically a tutorial tips and tricks all you need to know everything you need to know on how to use the market how to buy and sell cards in mlb the show and i would definitely guarantee i don't know why i said guarantee i would definitely recommend if you guys are new to diamond dynasty new to mlb the show and did not watch that video yet you might want to go back and check that one out first before you watch this video because those two kind of go hand in hand you're going to need to know the ins and outs of the marketplace uh in order to learn how to make stubs uh, video number two of the day we opened up all of our basically all of our rewards so everything from the MVP edition uh, if you missed it we pulled two diamond cards one was guaranteed and we knew it was coming the other one I didn't expect it it came out of a standard pack we pulled a I'm not gonna spoil it go watch it if you didn't see it yet um, so we're sitting at about 83,000 stubs no money spent other than the $70 we played paid for the game uh, and of course a big portion of those 83k uh, came from the two diamonds that I pulled not a big portion but maybe half of it uh, so we've really been working the market today and I haven't even really been able to play as much as I wanted to uh, tomorrow morning if you guys want to come watch me live stream Diamond Dynasty, I'll be live. My Twitch channel is down below in the description. You can find me at twitch.tv slash xpopularstranger. So let's talk about how we make stubs. I mean, this for, you know, for those of you that have played this game mode for a while or maybe even one year, I mean, this is no secret, but it's been the most, I guess, the most uh, freak, not frequent, consistent stub making method for years and uh i guess ever since they got rid of the uh, recycler uh this has kind of been the go-to move and that's flipping the auction house i mean uh, and it's called the community market my bad um i'm gonna show you a couple things here so number one is this is definitely a grind um it's not gonna be a get, get rich quick scheme it's just not there's not a foolproof foolproof big heist move or, or method to make stubs in MLB the show at least not for the last couple years you're gonna have to grind it out you're gonna have to work the mark you're gonna have to flip a lot of cards you're gonna have to do some good investing uh, and we'll talk about that down the road once the MLB season starts um, but if you go to my completed orders here guys I already have 23 pages full and you're gonna just see a lot of buying and a lot of sell well I mean that was obvious Mike you can only buy or sell but I guess you're going to see a lot of the same names. So you're going to see buy Carlos Gonzalez 288, sell Carlos Gonzalez 525. Uh, sell, where, where is he? Uh, who we look, I'm trying to look for double names here. So Cargo was up there right away. Um, we'll go over to page number two, see if we can find it. Uh, Albert Elmora, uh, Elmora Jr. Sell for 555, sell for 555. If we go back, we bought him for 333. We bought him for 333. So you guys see a trend here. We're buying low and selling high. Um, and there's kind of three methods, not three methods, but three types of, of ways to make stubs off of this method. There's consistently easy, guaranteed small profits. We have a sweet spot with silver cards, which we're going to take a look at. And then you kind of have like your big game, your whales. And that's your golden diamond cards, which aren't going to come as frequent, but if you are able to hit on one, you're going to make a nice amount. I'm shooting for silver cards right now, and I think you should too, because usually at this point in the show, uh, early in the year, silver, I mean, this is so obvious, but silver cards are at their highest. They're never going to be this expensive unless, you know, it's a guy who might get an upgrade. And again, we'll talk about that type of stuff in the future. Um... But, you know, there's, there's a couple different ways you can do it. So, obviously, you can go to, uh, just go to your market filter, and you're looking for big gaps in, in pricing. So, I'm, I'm actually just going to go to filters, uh, max overall. We're going to break it down to, like, 84. I'm not even going to look at diamonds right now, because it's just, it's just not worth it. But you're looking for nice little gaps here between the buy now and sell now. So, like, this card, Rick, Pro, Pro, Rick Porcello. Uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Popular Stranger. I mess up a lot of names. Uh, get used to it if you guys have not watched my Madden videos and you're here just for the show. Um, yes, I'm going to fuck up a lot of names. Deal with me, okay? Um, but we're looking for big gaps. And, and, and when we look at golds, there's, there's not many. I mean, you know, maybe right here. 
You can buy Lorenzo Cain for 4.4, 4, 4 sell him for 5.1. You know, with the 10% profit, you're going to make some stubs. But these cards just don't hit as often. Now, it does seem like pack odds are a little bit better this year. And maybe it's just because so many people are pulling packs. Trevor Story is really 13k. Wow. Um, but gold, pack, gold cards, unfortunately, are very rare. Uh, until, like, a special pack comes out, um, you're going to see some just really dumb amount so here's here's a good gap what we say um 6.2 for real muto uh 8 point basically 5 for jt so you could buy him you know i could put it in order here and whoops wrong button we're gonna go to buy sell we could go let's go six i'll put in a buy order for six four and just pray to the diamond dynasty gods that somebody sells him to me then you know if somebody does i might list him for and you gotta undercut you just have to I, say I get this, I sell them for seven nine nine. I'm gonna get seven one nine nine back, and that's gonna net me like a six hundred stub profit, seven hundred stub profit. That's good in MLB the Show. I know if you're thinking of mutt terms, making seven hundred coins is ridiculously stupid and just a waste of time. In the show, it is what it is. This is how it is, man. Um, so these again, and look, somebody already beat me. I put six four, they put six four two five. It's a cutthroat game out here, man. So if you're gonna try to, to try to flip gold cards and diamond cards, good luck. They're not gonna come as frequent. And in my opinion, I think you're gonna find yourself wasting more time uh, on the market than than actually making stubs. So then the next one is, uh, and I'm gonna go all the way. I'm gonna kind of flip it here. Uh, the next one are 74s bronze, I believe so. Yes. So these are the easy, consistent, profitable cards. 64 and basically under. For bronze, and I don't know if it was like this last year, but now you cannot sell them for less than 25 stubs. I believe last year you could. So they put a little bit of a cap on there. Um, but I'm honestly, I'm just looking for cards like this that have nothing up or anything or 25 or basically nothing or 25 so i'm gonna go in i keep hitting square accidentally i'm gonna go to buy sell options i'm gonna create buy order i'm gonna put 25 uh let me just double check but i'm pretty sure it's not gonna allow me if i put 24 yeah you can't because it has a quick sell value of 25 so that's something i believe is new this year i don't think they had quick sell values that high so now if somebody sells me this card i'm gonna then be able to sell it and i i really try to undercut on these i'll say like 88 that's gonna you know make me 79 subs back it's 54 stubs back in profit i said it these are not huge jordan hicks plays baseball what's going on here if you're an eagle fan you get it um but you know you're not going to make huge profits on this one but these are going to be very consistent because people are always going to be selling these cards you know somebody just sold me one right there i love that little splash screen that pops up there um keep pressing the wrong button uh so we'll, we'll you know i'm just looking somebody put a, a 30 up there as but i'm looking for zeros here um now these are pretty consistent but then we want to take it a step further and go, and I apologize. I don't know off the top of my head what commons are this year, if they even changed. Uh, let's see here. Is it 64? It's 64. Uh, whoops, wrong button. So commons are very, very easy because there's tons of zeros up there, and you can literally, you know, put a buy order here for five. So buy, sell option, go to buy, create buy order, five stubs. Easy. Uh, people are going to sell you these a lot. And then, you know, you get one, you're going to be able to sell it for like 30 to 40 stubs. I, again, I know it's not a huge profit, but this is going to be the most consistent. This is guaranteed stubs here, but it's going to take a while. The cards will come in quick. They'll sell quick. It'll happen fast. Um, but the thing is, is that it's just, it takes a while to, to build a nice count. Um, another way that you can do this, I'm going to backtrack a little bit and go to my, my favorite method with the silver cards. But another way you can do this is if you go to our collections, um, go to live series, and you can just go team by team. Um, and I like how they sort the worst cards at top now. And you can just like go through. So this is where you got to hit square. It's, it's messing me up. It's been messing me up all day. Sometimes I got to hit square. Sometimes I got to hit X. Um, so I would go to viewed marketplace. There's a five there 
buy sell options, buy create buy order, and I just buy like six of these. I put up three auctions uh, for six auctions auctions talk Mike. All right, so I would just do that, and I'd cycle through like maybe three teams. Uh, I go like you know, uh, or do a whole division, do the whole AL East. Okay, um, or you can go to my collection, or I'm sorry, my inventory player collection, and you can just go by team. Now, this is top down, so this is the reverse, but this one I like to go and say, Hey, I got five Orioles, I'll just go down to the bottom, uh, and I might look for duplicates, view and market. I might list five of them for seven stubs and then try to resell them. You see another one just purchased there, and then I try to resell these bad boys for like 40, 50, 60. This one so happens to be in the hundreds. I might want to hurry up and try to sell this right now. Um, but again, you know, you're, you're just flipping cards. It's, it's really not rocket science. You just got to know what to look for, and you got to be not afraid. Wow, that sold really fast. You got to be not afraid to just take small profits. If you're making 60 subs every minute, you do the math, that's just the way it's going to have to add up. Um, so you can go through player collection, you can go through live series sets, and just buy up a bunch of cards. Shout outs to whoever just uh, pulled Fernando Rodney from the show pack. I really like that too, how your friends pulls pop up, even though if you guys are a friend of me, uh, you're probably going to have some videos ruined for you in the future if you see that I got a really good pull. Um, so then we're going to end the video, and it's not really ending, but it's the last thing. I'm just going to show you my favorite method that I've been doing all afternoon, and this has been the most consistent. So we're going to filter from uh, minimum overall, I think, was 75. Uh, I can't remember my values right now, guys. My bad. What is silver? 75 to 79, is it? Um, let's see here. Yes. No, nope, it's 75. Yeah, I had it right the first time, and now I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Okay, so 75 to 79. And this is where I'm looking for those gaps again. I honestly, you might want to page over a couple or just go like 77 to 75. Um, but we're just looking for, we're, we're looking for like the 300 range. Like this is perfect. Blake Parker. Uh, I will go ahead, keep pressing the wrong button. Buy, sell option, create buy order. I'll go like 355. Put up one, put up two. I, li I like to do at least two. 355. Bam. Hopefully somebody sells them to me. If they do, right now 933 is the lowest. I would even lowball it and go like 850. You're still gonna make a profit if we sold it for 850. Um, Cause I'm not quick off the math here. 850 gets us 765 back. It's basically like a little over 400 stubs. That's good. 400, 300, 400, 500, 600 stubs is a good profit. Um, and I've just been going through the silver cards. You guys saw. All my completed auctions, uh, completed orders. If you look, a lot of these are in that three, four, five, six, seven hundred range. These are been my money makers. Um, I made probably in an hour a good ten to fifteen k stubs. Um, I'm going through the same page because I keep pressing the wrong button. But you see these? These are all from silver cards. That's that's where I just started hitting good good shots here. Um, so, I mean, it's it's very obvious advice, and hopefully you guys uh, can take advantage of it. Um, just look for the gaps. I'm shooting for silver cards right now. Commons and bronzes are guaranteed. Golds and diamonds are if, if you get lucky. Um, hopefully this guy's helped you. This, this helps you guys. If you got any questions, feel free to hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Twitch when I'm live streaming. Hit me up in the comment section. I'll try to answer some uh, questions if you got them. Hope this helped. If you're new here, make sure you hit that thumbs up and that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Three videos today. I'm done, but we'll be back with more, more than likely tomorrow. And again, a live stream tomorrow as well. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.